And the government is spending 3 billion shillings on three technical colleges to elevate them to centers of excellence in technical training. Vocational and technical training principal secretary Dr. Julius Joan says the three, namely Kiambu, Thika and Nairobi technical colleges, are being equipped with the state-of-the-art equipment. The government has prioritized science, technology, engineering and mathematics under the Big Four agenda to support the manufacturing agenda as the country seeks to increase the contribution of the sector to 15% of GDP in two years. The program will see TVET institutions upgraded and equipped with modern equipment. We need to get them equipment, modern equipment in various areas of training and because KTC has a lot of capacity, uh, that and then three... We'll also need to look at the look at their curriculum that we use for training the principals. The upgrade of the TVET institutions is part of a joint Kenyan-German initiative for the youth empowerment that aims to provide young people with employment opportunities through practical, industry-led vocational training. The pact was signed between Kenya and Germany in 2016, according to Bernard Leikheimer, head of cluster at GIZ, which is Germany's development arm. The overall headline and the key message um, for the Sustainable Economic Development Cluster um, is creating jobs and bringing people into employment. Um, the German government has commissioned on the one hand GIZ and on the other hand KFW, the German Development Bank, to implement a number of projects and all of them uh, basically follow one goal, to create employment, to skill people and to bring them into labor. The program entails providing training and placing graduates on internships to increase their competitiveness to transition into jobs. Because a lot of the time we have our TVET graduates even doing research projects and some of these research projects are not based on industry needs. But if we have uh, the trainers having access to industry, they'll be able to better guide the students on areas that require interventions and even help them to develop some of those projects. Under the deal with manufacturers, students will spend 50% of their time in TTIs. The remaining 50% will be used to apply the theoretical knowledge gained in class in an actual work environment.